Hi, I'm Mark, and here's a quick tip for animators on how to turn a forward moving walk cycle into a treadmill cycle inside of Maya. It's super simple, and it's one of those tricks that'll make your workflow way more flexible. Treadmill cycles are great because they're easier to polish, loop, and reuse, especially if you're animating for games or working with something like motion capture data. So here's how it works. Take your main mover control, usually the center of gravity, your main like hip control. That's usually the one driving your character's translation. So right now that control is moving forward, translating the hips forward and translating our entire walk cycle forward in space. So to make it a treadmill cycle, we just need to reverse that forward motion. So open up the graph editor, copy your hips, translate Z curve, and paste it onto the main mover control. Your main mover control is usually the control at the bottom of your character rig, that circle control that usually will translate your entire character together. So once you paste your character's center of gravity, translate Z values onto this mover control, simply scale the values by negative one to flip their direction, and now your character walks in place. You can also do this on an animation layer too, that way you can toggle between a forward walk and a treadmill cycle with a single click. Super useful if you're iterating or exporting cycles for games. And if you wanna break it down, there are two easy ways. You can use Animbot's Xform World Space tool, just grab all the controls that move your character. So usually your two foot controls, your hip control. And if you have things like elbow and knee pole vectors that are in world space, make sure you grab those two. If they're in local space, then you don't need to grab those. So once you have all of the sort of controls that actually move the character, and then just use the Xform world space tool to copy all that animation. And then you can remove the reverse translation that you have on the main mover control, and then paste that animation back using the same Xform world space paste function. And if you want a free option, use Morgan Loomis's World Bake tool. Same concept, select the controls that actually move your character, then bake those to locators first, remove the animation that's on your main mover control, then paste the animation back from those locators. And then after that, you can clean up your first and last poses on an animation layer so it loops perfectly, especially if you're working with motion capture data that doesn't naturally have a loopable pose where the first and last pose are exactly the same. And that's it. So you've got a clean loopable treadmill cycle ready for polish. If this helped, drop a like and check out my full length tutorial for a deeper breakdown.